Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we're a bit behind, um, but anyways, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. All right, so in regards to your finances and business, let's see what Spirit has for you. Oh, wow. Taurus, you have the Magician card. So in regards to your finances and business, a lot of you guys, I see you guys going either back to school, getting some type of partnership, internship. Um, for others of you, having a momentum of possibilities and opportunities when it comes to finances. I think that a lot of you guys, especially because of what we're currently going through, for a lot of you guys, it could be that you, something within you is starting to change or question um, the path that you're currently on. Should you continue or should you embark on a new beginning or doing something very different from what you've done up until now? Um, and what Spirit is telling you is really tap into that, really listen to your intuition. You're being pulled towards what you're supposed to be doing. For some of you guys, it could be uh, making money on the side, making money through other sources other than how you would typically make money. Um, so really tapping into that creativity is definitely going to bring uh, a lot of momentum, a lot of possibilities, and a lot of um, opportunities for you for this month of May. Okay? All right. So in regards to your communication sector... With the element of air you have the high priestess wow two major arcanas so a lot of you guys are going to be influenced by the astrological planet alignments that we're currently experiencing i feel that a lot of you guys are on this journey of either jumping ships um when it comes to how you make money or when it comes to what your everyday life is i see you like really really following something following your intuition following your passion uh, perhaps recently you've been inspired to pursue uh, that career that you thought you were no longer interested in for others of you it could just represent um, being able to really read people's energies i feel that for this month of may you're going to be very intuitive taurus and again we go back to that of if you're being pulled towards uh, new ideas new uh, ways of making money or following a passion, something that perhaps you didn't know you were even interested in. For others of you, it could even represent like making decisions based off of uh, relationships where you felt stuck for quite a while and all of a sudden you're getting this burst of energy like it's now or never. I have to make a change. I have to make this decision. Um, I definitely see you guys taking those decisions, but really owning them. So again, pay very close attention to your intuition as I definitely do see you guys really tapping into that this month. Now, in regards to your challenge for the month of May, you have the 10 of pentacles. For some of you guys, you're going to be challenged um, in regards to uh, longevity. For some of you, it could represent, um, like I said, if you've been in a relationship for a very long time and what holds you or what you feel holds you back has a lot to do with responsibilities or even the family dynamic, I feel that that's your obstacle to overcome this month. It is about realizing or understanding that yes, you have a duty and yes, you have responsibilities to those that depend on you. Uh, when it comes to children, when it comes to families uh, or family dynamic. But ultimately, what they're telling you here is that you need to learn to pursue your happiness because your happiness ultimately is going to be a determination of the happiness of those around you. And that's what you need to understand, Taurus. So I think that circumstances are going to happen this month where you're going to fully understand that as an example, if you are being in an unhappy marriage and you think you're doing favors to your kids, uh, being in that toxic environment, you're going to understand, you're going to have this aha moment that kids are very receptive to people's energies. And if they feel you sad and blue, that's exactly how they're going to feel. If they see you happy and free, that's exactly how they're going to feel. So be mindful about that, okay? Now, 
when it comes to your love and romance love and romance for Taurus you have the Empress card so in regards to your love and romance the Empress card does signify um, being very bountiful being very blessed being uh, able to fully understand and to fully see the potential of the of the opportunities that present themselves to you this month Taurus so again pay attention to your intuition you're being guided towards the path that you're supposed to be walking on with the Empress card you are bountiful meaning the universe loves you enough that will make things happen for you once you set action in motion okay And this could even well be represented by an opportunity when it comes to love and romance. Um, I think that for some of you guys, it's not so much about romance. What they're saying here is follow your passion or your happiness that will ultimately impact and lead you down a road of fulfillment and happiness. All right. All right, my dear Taurus your spirit's advice here is goddess of the moon intuition you guys they keep saying intuition i feel that your intuition for this month is going to be very much on point taurus pay attention to that really listen to it listen to your feminine energy speaking through you okay even if you're a male we all have masculine and female energies and what they're saying here is your intuition is very strong uh, for some of you guys, you may even be experiencing prophetic dreams. For others of you, uh, this notion or this feeling of following a, a path, a career, something very new, because there's newness to this energy. Um, but this is your potential, not just your potential, but this is your calling. So again, pay attention to that, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and I hope you guys are all staying safe and sound. We'll see each other soon. Bye.